Hello, my name's George, as you all know, and uh, my presentation is going to be on lawn bowls. Um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the sport of bowls, just generalise, sort of go over the game, and uh, also try and explain to you or persuade you that it's not just an old man's game. To do that, I've got some photos for you. Um, I've tried to get them in chronological order from left to right. Uh, you can obviously have a little look around and just have a look there. But um, as you can see from the photos, I've played sport with quite a lot of younger bowlers compared to the older bowlers. Um, I also play for the under 25s. <laughs> play for the under 25s uh, county team in Oxfordshire. Um, I've been playing for bowls for the last seven years, so I, you know I do take it quite seriously and I enjoy it very much. Um, if I can pass my bowls out to you, and uh, you guys can have a little look. So if I could hand these to you, there you go, take one each. There you go. Right, so if I explain a little bit about the bowl and uh, what it does. Um, if you hold it in your hand, well, you know, if you're left or right handed, you'll see that there's a large ring on one side and a small ring on the other. Uh, the small ring indicates the bias, meaning the, the heavier side of the bowl. So when I bowl my bowl, you always have the, the heavier side, the bias, on the inside, so it will bend back towards the centre. Um, so, you know, when you bowl it, when the weight comes off, it will start leaning and it will bend in. Um, so if you bowl in your forehand, it, I'm a right-hander, so you'll have the bias on the inside, switch it over, again, you'll have the bias on the inside, and that's your backhand. Um, <coughs> apart from the bowls, you'll have a mat, so the first person who is the lead will put the mat down, you'll stand on the mat and you'll bowl the jack. The jack is a smaller, lighter version of the bowl and you bowl that purposely to decide the length. So you stand on the mat, bowl the jack, and then each player will take it in turn to bowl their bowls. Um, the game consists of so many ends, so a singles match will consist of, sorry, a pairs match will consist of 21 ends as does a fours match and so on. Um, an end is once you've bowled the jack and everyone's bowled their bowls, that's an end, and then you'll start again. Um, the idea you know, in the game is obviously to get your bowls as close to the jack as possible, closer than your opposition to, uh, to win the game, or to win the end, sorry. And at the end of the game, whoever's got the most shots on the board will win the game. Um, if I explain a fours match real quick, um, and just the role of each player, like I said, first you've got the lead, he'll put the mat down, bowl the jack, and then he'll bowl his bowls. The lead, the idea of the lead is to get his bowls as close to the jack as possible. The two will then come along. Again, he'll try and get as close as possible. If we aren't, you know, the team isn't already holding shot, he might play a bit more forceful to, to play the opposition's bowls out and hopefully stay there, or he'll play quite, you know, a, a finesse shot, if you like, which is called a draw. Um, the three will then come along. He needs to be able to play a wide variety of shots so he can, you know, he needs to be able to mix it up and ideally make it better for the, the skip who then comes next and the skip is the pressure bowler really he needs to be able to bowl in those pressure situations you know to try and get the shot or at least cut the count down so it's not as bad as it was before um, the idea essentially is to to get as close as possible make it as easy for the skip the skip to love an easy game so um, yeah and uh, that's it really on bowls, so um, I hope I've persuaded you it's not just an old man's game and hopefully you'll hear a little bit more about bowls now. Thank you. So, any feedback anyone? Questions. Questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, how much do a set of bowls cost? Um, the, the red, blue and white ones that I've got, well, that Adam and George have got there, um, they cost me £185 for a set of four. So obviously that's half of the set. Um, so yeah, and you always get them in a set of four. So you know those two there that you guys are holding there, I bought them second hand and I got them for thirty five pounds. So it all, I mean, and they'll have a stamp on the on the bias side. It should say when they're valid to. Um, it might. I'm not entirely sure. I know those ones will be. They're valid for ten years once you've bought them new. So it's like a car really. They depreciate quite a lot after you know you've used them. So. Um, Yes, it's got X15. Let's, let's have a look. Sorry. Yes, so that's World Bowls there. So they're stamped by World Bowls. So they're, they're valid till 2015. Um, and then once they've, they've gone out, um, you basically have to get them tested again. Because they're not, you know, if they're not legal, then you can't. Once you get to the latter stages of a, 
you know, competition, a national competition, they might pull me up and say, you know, they're not legal, you know, get them restamped, and they might have to to um, do something to the bowls, maybe add them on or add, you know take a bit off the bias. So. So, so it's a bit like the calibration on like. Pretty much, yeah. They they have to be within a set, you know. Some because all bowls are different. Um, those ones there, the red ones, they bend a, a bit more than those do. So they their bias is a bit bigger. Oh right. So you have to give it more more lambda. So, so you know, um, instead of aiming for that table leg there, I'd probably aim for for Adam because they they <laughs> you know so they come back in. Um, whereas those ones I could probably aim for the table leg and it would still come to the same spot so it's just you know differences in bowls and yeah why, why do you always bowl with the bias on what for you and for me would be the left hand side because you're always coming isn't well, it sometimes advantage would it not this be sometimes is advantageous to come in from the other this, this is the this direction. is the thing you see it's all on the on the green um especially outdoors all greens are different mm -hmm. so obviously you've got you know you can play both hands if you like um and the forehand uh, so if you know if the if it was in your right hand and the bias was on the inside, um, you know going that way, uh, you might prefer that hand. It might be a better hand to bowl. You might be finding it, you know, a bit better than the other hand. Um, but if there's stuff in the way on that hand, you know, if there's bowls in the way and you can't get to the jack, that's when you might turn it over and bowl your backhand. So it's. Uh, but why could could you not just use the ball in your better? In your favoured hand. Well, you know, that's, that's it, it, it all depends on the person, really. Um, oh, I mean, but it would still be legal to do that. Oh yeah, no, you can bowl either hand. Ah, okay. It doesn't. It doesn't. You know, that's right. what we. Uh, it's like tennis, if you like. You know, yeah. you, you, bowl, you bowl your forehand and you bowl your backhand. It's just a matter of turning the bowl over. Right. Um, but the bias always stays yeah. on the inside because if you had it on the outside, you know, you'd get halfway and then it would start bending the yeah. other way. Yeah. <laughs> but um, it's all. You know, preference. Some people prefer to bowl a backhand. I personally don't have a preference. I don't mind bowling either. But some people really do. Sure, sure. Yeah. Hate bowling one hand to the other. Yeah. How? Who, oh, so gone. Oh, so who actually got you into bowls then? Um, my friend in the photo who's got the colourful socks. Um, his his granddad bowled, and he said to to my, you know his grandson, my friend. Um, you know, do you want to do you want to give it a go? So we went round after school, and um, I only personally went to watch because I didn't expect to get into bowls. But um, I gave it a go, and, and you know, played for a year, and then I sort of took it on from there, really. So. Cool. How successful have you been? Um, I've done okay. I've I've won a few uh, county uh, competitions. So I've won um, the under twenty five singles um, in Oxfordshire. I've got to the quarter final of the singles this year. Um, I've also won another county singles uh, competition in Oxfordshire. Um, I'm trying to think. I've won a home county. So all of the it's obviously you guys are from Warwickshire. Home counties is Oxfordshire, Middlesex. There's seven counties in the home counties. I've won the when the year I won the under twenty five singles in Oxfordshire. You then go on to the national championships, um, which I didn't do so well in, but I got there. Um, and you also play a home counties uh, competition, which is all of the winners of the and runners up of the home counties. And I won that the same year. I won the under twenty five singles. So I've, I've done okay. I'm, I, I'm definitely a better singles player than I am a team player for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's because I know my ability, and I think it makes you concentrate that bit more when you're playing by yourself. Whereas if you've got others to depend on, I d there's a few factors. Um, but I found that all my sort of success if you like has been in singles for some reason so but I've done okay I mean I, they've put me forward for for a junior international trial which the county you know if they think you're good enough they'll put you forward and then you have to kind of give them a CV if you like um, and they'll you know they'll have a look at all these applicants and they'll pick you know they might know some people better because I haven't got to the well I have got to the national championships but I probably haven't done well enough for them to notice me yet so you know, in, in the next couple of years, if I do get down there and I do have a good run, they won't notice me and I might get a trial. So. But they've put me forward for one, which is good. So they think I'm good enough. But, um, yeah. So, I've done okay. Do you know how bowls originated? I don't, if I'm honest. I haven't done that much research into it. But um, I think there's... Because, like I said earlier about my, my first club, 
as 250 years old. There's actually a club in Southampton, which is, they claim to be 700 and something years old, which is, yeah, is a bit ridiculous. But they, um, I don't know, I think the most famous bloke is Sir Francis, yeah, Sir Francis Drake, which everyone seems to know, which is, he's from, he, he played down in Plymouth, so, yeah, so... But no, I'm not entirely sure where it originated from or how they came to mm-hmm. come to to Bond. But 